figure all that out. So, so now, um, I want to add, so, so some, one of the biggest things I wanted to ask you is, is how did you meet Lee Camp? Because you're the first person I've ever met that knows Lee Camp, someone that I'm a fan of. So you know him, yeah, you know Max Blumenthal, correct? Yeah, I actually, uh, earlier today, uh, tweeted back at Max. I've been tweeting at Max lately. He, he usually ignores me, unlike Lee. I have much better relationship with Lee. Oh. Um, but, uh, you know, Max was complaining that uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr. wouldn't debate him. Oh, and, yeah, um, yeah. I said, hey, Max, you didn't want to debate me. Because <laughs> what ended up happening was Caleb debated me instead. Because I challenged Max to a debate um, on the uh, Trotsky Stalin question. But, uh, you know, it, yesterday I tweeted at Max as well because he was uh, complaining. I think it was yesterday. He was complaining about this rabbi. I think it's Rabbi Shumi. Oh. Was a very right wing, you know, Zionist uh, oh. fanatic, you could say. Um, and, you know, he was complaining about Shumi's association with Bobby Kennedy Jr. Right. And I said, Max, what about our conversation about Yadira and her connection to, to Rabbi Shumi? Yeah. Uh, you like Yadira. You said it was just because she's religious. So, you know, I kind of, um, I don't want to say, you know, make punches at Max, but I kind of question Max. In certain yeah, I mean, things, so our relationship, you know, I've met him a few times as well, has been more adversarial. Now with Lee, that's different. You feel like Lee's more uh, because fun. Lee is less divisive than Max. Uh, he's more humorous, and we tend to agree more on things, Lee and I. So we get along better. Oh, hmm. we we'll get that T ready. Mm, details, details. Both of them I connected with through the Venezuelan actions at the embassy in 2019. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean... But one thing is you're a supporter of theirs, and they might look at your tweets here or there. Another thing is when you're face-to-face -face with them in actions, and they see you in action, then they have more respect for you, and they can keep in touch with you. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, I didn't know that he was, it was more adversary. Uh, yeah, so, I knew that he was... He, well, he, you know, Max has had positions that, and I've been very vocal about this, that I strongly disagree with. Right. I respect his journalism. I respect his advocacy for Venezuela. Oh yeah. Um, but you know, he's he and his wife Anya, uh, they Anya. work with the Miser Caucus, who's the most fascistic, racist element of the Libertarian Party that controls the party. Uh, in order to appease to them, they've said transphobic things publicly, um, and these are things that Lee does not take part in. Yeah, um, Lee I'm actually, I'm actually more. Uh, I only ever been in touch with Ben Norton once. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. much more friendly or open to, if you want to talk about personalities, with uh, Ben Norton. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And, with Max. and you know Ben Norton left the gray zone for various yeah. reasons. I'm not going to say I have any inside knowledge of the exact reasons. Yeah. But, uh, but I have a lot of respect for Ben. And Ben actually lives in Latin America. Yeah, he lives yeah, in he lives in Nicaragua. And Ben was just with a comrade of mine who was with me in Venezuela, Dan Kovalik. I'm sure you heard of him. Yeah. Dan 